All right, let's get to Emma now for a look at your forecast. Hey, Emma. Hey, Justin, we are trekking. A great start to the work week. Monday we have it. some nice blue skies with a few high clouds. However, as we go into the next few hours, we're dealing with increasing cloud coverage. So on the way home, expect a lot more gloomy conditions. This is a live look on our Wade's RV on Highway 75, part of Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. Temperatures here a little bit more in the metro. We're around 63 degrees for Tulsa 65 and Broken Arrow 64 in Coweta with those southerly winds between 10 to 20 miles per hour is going to continue on into this evening. So evening plans, it's going to be a bit of a change. So we're going to be dealing with a lot more clouds in the area. Temperatures are going to stay in the low 60s, but we could even start to see some light showers in the area. Here for Tulsa, we're looking at about 7, 8 o'clock hours when we'll start to see some of that light rain. A little bit on and off as we go into Tuesday morning in the afternoon is when we start to see a little bit more widespread conditions. That's going to be the case even into Wednesday. Showers lingering on even into Thursday morning. Most of this is going to be some heavy rain, but we could even see a thunderstorm or two starting to develop across green country. Then we'll continue to track uh, dry conditions Thursday night, Friday morning dry. However, Friday evening into Saturday, we have more chance to see some rain, much needed rain. Green country, especially out towards northwest areas like Osage, Washington County. We are still in that exceptional drought. So any of this rain will be very beneficial to the area. This is a live look on our dual Doppler radar. We're starting to see some of that light rain out towards western portions of Oklahoma, and that'll eventually just continue to push further towards the east as we go into the next few hours. So let's go ahead and track out the remainder of at least the day and then in the next few days of what you can expect. We are going to start to see that increasing cloud coverage as we go into six, seven o'clock. Uh, it's starting to show some of that light rain moving in and then we'll start to see those on and off light showers. Now as we go into Tuesday afternoon, so on the drive to work, a few of us will just see some of that light rain. It really start to get a little bit more heavy as we go into that one o'clock hour. Uh, a few thunderstorms as well, just going to continue to push even towards the east. Bartlesville all the way down into Tahlequah starting to see a little bit more of that heavy uh, storm starting to push through more widespread. This is closer to four 30 and that's just going to continue to push through further towards the south though some of those thunderstorms could be strong to severe mainly that hail and wind threat as of now Tulsa green country for the most part we're not looking too much in terms of severe weather just some nice showers and thunderstorms as well possible this will go through tonight Tuesday night, Wednesday, about one o'clock, we start to see again more widespread conditions and that's really going to be the day. Just very gloomy and rainy for Tuesday, even into your Wednesday, lingering on into Thursday morning. Fortunately, though, we are also going to be dealing with cooler temperatures. We're looking at low 50s for your Tuesday, continuing to stay below average for Wednesday, Thursday. We're just going to see below average temperatures until we slowly start to climb back into the 70s, not until Sunday where we'll finally start to see the 70s returning for Sunday, Monday, and then we have yet more rain chances returning for next week.